Okay, another big thing that uh, we have done, uh, I say big thing because it's been around for uh, quite a long time, um, we have improved the management of uh, credit uses in course restore. So this is basically when you restore a course and it includes co uh, user data, uh, now it's possible for tenant admin to import this kind of courses and have the tenant, the users created within their tenant. Uh, previously, there, uh, there was uh, this capability missing, and this was possible only as a site admin. So as a tenant, I mean, you use this as a, uh, a work credit in the default tenant, which is not, which was not visible. So uh, now we have this capability and this more, uh, that adds more granularity to this process. It's been uh, around for a long time, and uh, finally, uh, we have improved this uh, functionality. So next slide, please. And then um, there are many other things we have done in this sprint, and I just wanted to highlight some of them. And as you can see, uh, many of them were suggested by the product advisory uh, group. So I wouldn't, uh, I will uh, not spend more time on this. Uh, but uh, all the all of these issues were important, and uh, but uh, as I said, uh, just a small part of everything that we have done in this sprint. So next slide, please. I don't think this is the last one. So from the discovery point of view, uh, nothing to add to what I said in the goals. Uh, uh, only that we are very excited that we finally started with the accessibility audit, and hopefully we can have more workplace uh, with uh, accredited with this uh, uh, accessibility accreditation for 4.1 and 4.2.